Hi, I'm Tom from Advocate Motorsport, and today we're going to talk about hoses. Now, we get this question quite a lot. Uh, what hose do I use for whatever purpose? And I bought this hose. Is it suitable for this or for that? So uh, we thought we'd try and answer as many of these questions in one simple, quick video. And when it comes to putting hoses on your car, you know exactly what you need to go for. No, your hose. So we've got three main types here. These are the push-on nitrile hose, which is just a straight rubber hose. And then we've got the nitrile with a nylon outer braid. And then we've got the PTFE or Teflon core. We've got some other little bits here, which we'll go through later, but let's start with the nitrile push-on. So first up, we've got the nitrile push-on hose. Now this is a great budget solution for quite a wide range uh, of parts you might need to use on your car. A lot of people use this for fuel systems. It is rated to SAE J30 R9. So this is a good, simple solution. You simply heat up the end of the hose, push it onto the fitting, and we always like to add a Jubilee clip just for safety. So this will take 100 PSI, which is not a lot. Uh, that will increase if you use a hose clamp on there, but I would not advise going above that. It's good for petrol, diesel, oil, hydraulic fluid, like power steering fluid, but only the low pressure side of the system. And it'll also do vapor systems, like fuel vapor, things like that, and uh, vacuum systems of the engine, even some positive pressure. Um, now, it's only good, really, for 5% ethanol rated fuels. It will handle 10% or, you know, the 99 runs, 98 runs, but it starts to permeate a lot more. So permeation is when you get fuel vapor releasing through the hose. You would not use this inside the cabin. This needs to be completely separated from the driver's cabin. It is not safe. But if you are doing a low pressure carb system or even fuel injected, that it's absolutely fine for that. It will take that 100 PSI, but never run it through the cabin. It's a good budget solution. It doesn't stack up well over time. It will go slightly hard, eventually it will go brittle, and it doesn't like high temperature. Maximum 135 degrees. I would not put this anywhere near anything that goes over 120 degrees. But simple budget solution, fantastic. So next, we've got the nitrile core and nylon outer braided hose. Now this is rated to SAE J30 R12. This means it has a much better permeation rate than the R9. Still, do not use this in the cabin of the vehicle. It will still permeate fuel and that gets worse with the ethanol content. It will handle E85, but it won't last forever. It will be absolutely fine with E10 and more of the higher RON rated fuels that we get nowadays. Now this will handle about 150 PSI and it will go up to 140 degrees C. The reason we like this is because of the nylon outer braid. Now, if this is in an area of the engine bay that gets hot, once you see any damage to the nylon outer braid, you can suspect that there will be an issue with the nitrile core. We don't like the stainless outer braid version of this hose, purely for that fact. If it's in an area of the engine bay that it can be susceptible to thermal damage, you will have no idea that that's happening. These are very simple to assemble, a little more complex than the push-on, but not really expert level by any means. And you can use these for fuel, diesel, oil, hydraulic fluids like power steering, but only the low pressure side, not the high pressure. It's also okay for vapors, for positive air pressure and vacuum scenarios, uh, coolant if you're running larger sizes, and also coolant hoses to turbos, things like that. So you can pretty much do 95% of your engine bay using this hose, just do not put it in the cabin. So the last main hose category is the PTFE or Teflon core hose. Now PTFE and Teflon are the same thing. Teflon is just a brand's name of the company DuPont. They just own that word, but it doesn't matter. Same, same. So this hose will do everything the previous hoses have done. 
it will handle about 170 degrees before the core starts to melt and it will do about 2000 psi all the way up to an10 now if you go lower something like an6 or even an4 they will handle about 4000 psi so this is excellent for the high pressure side of your power steering system also fuel lines through the cabin this is the one you want to use it does absolute zero permeation so it's great for any fuel e85 all of that it will handle everything there is nothing on your vehicle that this hose is not suitable for okay so we have two more tricky hoses here now the first one this is submersible fuel hose this is very important do not use any of these to be submersed in a fuel tank apart from ptfe ptfe is a bit of a nightmare because most fuel pumps have push on connections so it's not very common that you would use a ptfe hose unless it's the convoluted type but this is to SAE J30 R10. If it's not to R10, it is not submersible. It will swell, it will crack, you'll lose fuel pressure, your engine will explode, you'll have a really bad time. The next one is a bit of a special hose. We keep this in stock, it's made by Gates and it's called Barricade. Now, this has a unique application. It's made to SAE J30 R14. Now, if you look that up, it says it's for low pressure fuel systems, but Barricade has a special system. It's triple layer, so it's got a high pressure core in there. It's got a cotton layer as well. This will take up to about 200 PSI. So it is perfectly acceptable for fuel injected engines. The main advantage to this, it, it has next to zero permeation. So this is good. We use it a lot on RX-7s because if you've got steel hard lines and they are an 8mm or a 3.8 push-on connection and you want to retain that, but you want to make your fuel system safe for E10 or higher fuels, this is a great replacement for the stock system. It's also really good for converting classic vehicles where you may uh, want to run a higher run rated fuel, but you can't. You can take all the rubber hoses out, use this stuff, and it works perfect. So this is brake line. It's pretty much exactly the same as your PTFE stuff. It's got a PTFE core, a stainless steel braid. The only difference is it's not got a outer braid uh, like the nylon or the stainless steel. It's got a PVC coating. But again, it does exactly the same as the PTFE hose does. Most people use this for brake lines. You can get it all the way up to AN6, so you could use it for fuel lines. It's also good for clutch systems turbo vacuum systems, um, breather systems, anything like that. But it's it's a bit more specific. Most people just use it for brake systems, but it does have uh, many, many other purposes. So that's everything. There are other hoses that we can cover. And if you want us to go to detail about anything else, like the silicon uh, rubber coolant hoses, again, some of these has, have multiple purposes. We also have assembly instruction videos, so we can go into that in a little more depth, but they are already on our website and it's very simple. But that pretty much covers this. If you've got any questions, please put it in the comments. I will read them. Like, comment, uh, subscribe, tell your nan. Uh, thank you very much. Click here, maybe, or for, yeah, click down, down, down here. Open this drawer. <laughs>